So unfortunately, we did not get our dream house. What's up, Neezy gang? Gang, 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 gang. He's like, that was an orchestra. Oh, wow. You like that? All right. Yeah, you should give me the memo. I'm gonna follow. What's up, Neezy gang? Gang, 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 gang. Right, You're not really great. Right? Come on, I'm actually really good. You're I supposed did. to go. Gay. Gay! No, it's not over yet. Yeah, it's not right. over. No, I have to be separated. First and foremost, it has to no, be it separate. doesn't. Anyway, Nisa Gay, what up? I know it's after Christmas. We're still in the holiday spirit because we didn't really get to wear all of our Christmas stuff. So we're like, you know what? It's still Christmas over here. You feel me? Our um, post Christmas. Our post Christmas. Outfits. That's what it is. Okay, Neezy Gang. I know by the title you guys are reading, uh, you know, what it says. You know what I'm saying? I know it's we seem kind of like happy because we're trying to keep our spirits up. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, we did not get the dream house or the house of our dreams or the house that you guys seen pretty much i wouldn't say is there a dream house it was just like a it was a really nice ass house it was, it was pretty yeah. huge it was a it dream was huge it was house. our I mean, obviously there's levels to this but yeah that was definitely our dream house for right now yeah and it just sucks man like i was really really looking forward to it and it honestly took a while for us to even get approved or denied. It was like a whole waiting game. Super and waiting game. I don't yeah. know, I'm just very disappointed and we're ready guys. Like we're so ready yeah. to get into a house together so we can bring you guys even better content. Man. Because when we're actually living together, it's like, oh my God, we're gonna be able to film so much easier yeah. and even have like a great environment to film videos for you guys in. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it's just disappointing. Oh baby. Uh, it, it's it's super disappointing for me. See, I was trying to keep my spirits up with my baby. You know, I gotta be, I'll be strong for you, baby. But it, it is tough because I, as you guys know from that video, if you haven't seen it, make sure you guys check it out. But we were house hunting and we've been house hunting. It was just this one particular we were super excited about. And we actually applied and I felt like our credit was good. Everything was like good on the back end. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like, yo, why are we playing this waiting game? You know, I have been waiting for a house for so long and applying for houses for years. And it's like, yo, we're so excited about a house. And to apply for this one and not even hear nothing back, it was just like, yo, like, what's really going like on? Like nothing, not hearing any word. And you have to think about it too. I wanna break it down to you guys so you guys kinda understand. When you're applying to get a house, you have your realtor, you know what I'm saying, that you're going through to help you search your houses. I mean, you could do it on your own, but you get a realtor, you know what I'm saying, they'll help you tremendously. Then you have the um, real estate agent of whatever house they are trying to, I guess, sell or lease or rent out to a tenant, which is us. Then with that, you have also to have the owners, if that makes sense. You know, I'm pretty sure it all makes sense to you guys. If not, I just want to break that down and tell them like, what the process was of literally going through just that what would hurt you so know what I'm just going through that process is crazy because not only do you have to like find your realtor and stuff we have we we well she started with this realtor when she and was jordan. just looking for a house wait you're talking about, are you talking about jordan or are you talking about the one before oh well she's had two realtors yeah so she, right now Good I, basically what I'm trying to say is she had been looking for a house for herself for a very long time mm -hmm. and then when we decided to get a house together you know she introduced me to Jordan and now he's looking for both of us and for like what we both want and need yeah and basically like you know Aww. Jordan shows you know shows us his house we go you guys saw it I mean if you haven't seen it go watch our video because uh -huh. the house is magnificent and just a real dream for us bro. you know imagine and us the easy gang in that house bro y'all can imagine all of us in the house y'all will be in there with us well, keep going baby tell them about the process <sighs> of this girl well basically so you know Jordan applies for the house for us. Once we see it, we're like, oh my gosh, like we won it, you know, it was a great location, just everything, right? right? And basically they, he didn't hear back and was blowing up the other realtor, the realtor for the home. The agent, yeah. Over and over and over again. And just so much time went by and we just kept asking like, God, like Jordan, like what's going on? And he's like, I don't know. Like I've never experienced this before. The lady won't
won't even respond. Yeah. Like, we ended up going to her Instagram. We found her Instagram. I went to her Instagram. You know, <laughs> us girls, us women, we're stalkers. So I Googled we're her like, name. Is she, what is she doing? What are you she's doing? Making posts about stuff that don't even matter. Like, she's chilling and stuff. Oh, so what? you post it up. Huh? You post it up. That's what you're doing while we're trying to get this and house. And you're ignoring our realtor. And it's okay, not even cool. her. It's not even her house. I feel like it's messed up that you're ignoring us. It's not even your house. It's the owner's house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's crazy the fact that Jordan said that she was super cool. Our realtor said she was super cool before we even seen the house and she was being responsive. But she was out of town in and out. So pretty much once she finally responded, yeah. Um, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I was out of town. And I'm also waiting on the, I Just so you know, I submitted the re the the submission what is it called the application i submitted the application but which she never told us she could have at least told us that she did that when we were blowing her up exactly. forever ago basically she was like yeah the owners of the house haven't responded yet so let me go even more time without anything for the owners of the house to respond then we start looking into the house a little bit more and we're like dang the house has been on the market Bruh, since for when? what february little i went on her instagram i stalked her she posted the house in february and I'm like, wait, hold up. Usually houses that go on the market, they go quick, especially now because everybody's trying to buy a house or rent a nice house. Nice houses, and especially at that price Yo, range, it was like the price. price was pretty good. So it's yeah. like, she it was, I started thinking like, is this a scam? Yeah. Like, did we get scammed? So we were even asking Jordan that. We're like, did we get Yo. scammed? Like, I mean, what could they really scam us out of? Like, just the application fee. fee but imagine like, how many applications fee they, fees get, they can get. Maybe. That's what I was I thinking. Know. But, but, I'm but, but the application house. fee is literally $30, $30, guys. I'm like, what would they be really getting? from that i don't know but he was like no it's it's a real deal they're just not being professional so then finally they get back to us they get back to us and, and they pretty much is just like no it's a no i wouldn't even give a reason no reason whatsoever no so no first and foremost like i said i've been looking for houses for years you know what i'm saying the process of getting a house when it comes to uh an applicant or an application or a tenant Usually when you fill out the application, they tell you in a few days uh, if they chose you or not, especially if there's a lot of applications coming in. You know what I'm saying? So one, it was a red flag that she wasn't responding right away. Two, the fact that she didn't give us an answer and we're like, wow, we put everything together and we knew what it was. Like, I try not to think of stuff like this because usually when I used to think like this, it was childish. But no, this was 100% factual. The realtor, in my opinion, I think she was racist. And I and we know for sure, 100% sure, the owner was racist. And the reason why I say that was because we pull up to the house, we're looking at the house or whatever. As soon as we get there, Jordan says the owner came and just to come and check the sprinklers. Why are you coming? You to check the sprinklers. He came to check the sprinklers, bro. Wow, there's a showing. First of all, the owners are never at the houses because we've seen Ever. other houses. It's always just the agent. Exactly. And sometimes the agent just gives a code to the realtor and says, "Here, you can go and show the house yourself." And that was the case. Now With the us. realtor or the realtor of the house, the agent, she was not there. Yeah, when we get there, literally, you know, she gives him the key. She gives us the code or whatever. But the the owner comes and checks the sprinklers to see if they're working you know what i'm saying this is what jordan tells us then he, he leaves as soon as we come up jordan's like the owner just came and i was like what really and he was just like yeah like he had uh an f like and then it had a president's name on it i'm not getting into politics right now but y'all could just assume which president it said and the flag no. that was on his truck well he said it was so big it was like the size of his his big he said truck. yeah like, it was it huge. was huge hanging off the back of his pickup truck and he said he kind of because uh jordan also is you know he's a brown skin guy and he said that he just got a weird vibe from him even when he met like the owner and mm -hmm. it was just like we were like dang as soon as we hear that we're like okay we definitely can't let the owner see us because he's gonna know that judges based on you know, yeah he's gonna judge us based off of, off of our skin color and we're two girls and, together yeah, you know what i'm saying being a part of the lgbt community and he was an i guess an older man so like sometimes they're not as accepting and stuff when they're from a certain generation exactly. so it was just like we're like okay so we pretty much said let's hurry up and view it right yeah yes yeah, so we pretty much said like okay let's hurry up and view it so we took our we we didn't take our time but we did you know didn't we we took our time we took our time okay so yeah we took our time because we didn't think he was coming back 
And so we view the house as you guys seen in the video. And then we're sitting there, we cut the camera off. We're sitting there like, yo, we love this house, X, Y, and Z, chopping it up in the living room. And Jordan's looking out the window. He's like, yo, the owner just pulled up. And we had just had a conversation how, oh, dang, we definitely want to avoid seeing him now. Like, we don't want him to see us until he gets our application. I mean, until he would approve us. So I guess when we would, you know, bro. I was like, yo, like, let's go out the back. Like, let's go and sneak out because I don't want him to see because he's going to judge us. Jordan, he's super cool. He's like, no, like, F that. Like, they need to see. This is, he's the owner. He needs to see who you are. Like, who cares? Like, who cares? Like, you know? And I'm just like, nah. I got, I literally got discriminated against already on a couple of houses. I'm not trying to do that. Let's go. So we kind of like sneak out the back. And he, while he's going in, we kind of come out the side. And like we hit our car, we kind of not hit our car, but we like go to our car and then like hurry up and get inside and try to like back down the giant driveway super like discreetly. And we're yeah. like, dang. We don't know if he ended up seeing us or not. I think he probably did because did. we both know why. I think we all know why he was at the house. And he comes back twice within the matter of like a little bit of time. And like yeah. I just felt like he was there to see who was there. Who was there. And honestly, too, like even the whole neighborhood. We ended up looking around the neighborhood. Oh my the God. whole neighborhood had flags of the same, supporting the same president. We're not going to go into that. Yeah, because you and... can support whoever you want. But typically when you support this type of president, a lot of them that we know were racist. Especially of like a certain like class mm -hmm. when it comes to like your financial class and yeah. stuff. Once you start hitting certain types of classes, you yeah. know that that discrimination can come up anyway. And to we were in a white black. neighborhood. We were in a white yeah. neighborhood. It was white as okay. It was super white. And, you know, and, and old money. You could tell it was old money. Everyone super. there was older. They looked retired. And then like there's two young black girls. Lesbians. lesbians moving into the neighborhood. Like you could already Bruh. tell. It was probably going to be an issue anyway. Yeah. So. so that's how I was trying to look at it. But it hurt because it was like, yo, this house is fire. But everything does happen for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Even though we felt the energy, we thought that it was going to be the, our dream home. Everything looked perfect. That could have probably been one of the issues. You know what I'm saying? It could have been like, yo, every time we play our music, which wouldn't be loud because we're not super party. We're not partiers like that, but we go outside. It's probably going to be issues. The neighbor's going to be staring. I'm trying to walk we my dog. Have a little getty. A getty? A getty. A little getty. Yeah. A little getty. A little get together. Yeah. I like you doing that. But yeah, I try to look at it in a positive light. It was supposed to, be, it wasn't meant to be. You know what I'm saying? Even if you feel like something is supposed to be in that moment, you think it's real. You think you're supposed to have it and it's destined. You see yourself in the house. Everywhere. Any, every corner, every angle, you in the shower, in the tub. Everything. The boys would have loved it. Pluto and Boss would have loved that backyard. We had a private um, hike. Up trail. around the trail. We would have taken them hiking. It would have been nice, but been nice. honestly, everything happens for a reason. And, you know, of course, we're disappointed, but the search yeah. is just going to have to continue. And yeah. honestly, I feel like our guardian angels were watching over us too, because mm -hmm. the last thing you want to do is end up being freaking because we were trying to be all discreet and stuff we didn't want him to see us imagine if he would have approved us and imagine if he was indeed racist and the neighborhood was racist now we're locked into a lease for a year at least and somebody was super racist yeah and imagine like he could really make our lives miserable like if he was just popping up to check on the sprinklers two times in, a, in 30 minutes yeah. listen yeah, yeah, it would have been a nightmare living there. I don't think that he was pulling up because we were black either. I think he was pulling up because the agent wasn't there and the agent had gave us the code or our realtor Jordan the code to open the house. Jordan is a minority, you know what I'm saying? It was just that energy and yeah, like it wasn't meant to be. This journey is going to be long. Hopefully it's not long. I really don't want it to be long. It's been long already. Like yeah. it's been long already, but we definitely wanted to, yeah. you know, you guys were saying that this is the type of content that you want to see. You want to actually see well, we our do. process and stuff. So we wanted to really include you guys in, uh, in on it and let you guys know whether we get houses or not yeah. that we end up showing you. So there should be more to come. More to come. With that being said, make sure you guys like and subscribe. We love you guys so much. I hope you guys had a great holiday, um, the New Year's. And we love you guys. Easy game, we're out. Mwah.